and apologize for dogs making noises they did insist in coming upstairs welcome to a new video if you're new to my channel then you are most welcome here and thank you for stopping by and hi to all my lovely friends on youtube all my lovely subscribers and all the friends that i've made on here so today i've got another haul for you and it's yet another timu haul this one i have purchased with my own money um, did some things turn out as I thought they would be? Actually, no, for the very first time, no. But it was not Timu's fault, it was mine. It was definitely mine, and I'll tell you why when we get to it. Right, so this is the bag that it all came in. There's quite a lot of stuff in here, actually. Um, it used to be an orange bag, didn't it, with Timu? But now they've got like the light grey. I don't know why, but. I guess there must be a reason for it. So Elsie's decided to go downstairs. The rest are still up here. Yes, and it's hot, isn't it? Oh, can I just say, um, let me just say, first of all, if you can hear like fan noises, it's because you can. Here in the UK, it's still ridiculously hot for September. Um, we never have temperatures like this in September and I just cannot wait for it to change into like the autumn. Um, we had rain yesterday but no storm so the air still hasn't cleared. So I've got a fan here and a fan over there. Um, because these are just too hot and so am I. Right, it's probably down again, get too hot. So I thought I'd start this video by Oh, many years ago, I used to do a lipstick of the day. So every time I did a video, I would do lipstick of the day. So I'm going to start with that. I think I might kind of bring that back because my most favourite makeup item is lipstick. I absolutely love lipstick. And I feel that you can do so much with it. You can obviously put it where it's meant to be onto your lips, but you can also add it as a little bit of brush. And um, you can pop a little bit of it on your eyes, sort of. You know whether you want to go very 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 lightly just sort of very gently or you want to put a little bit more on depending on the color but i think it's just so versatile so the lipstick i want on today is um specs on guys to show you i've had this a long long time it's an estee lauder one this one in the code is 61 and it's pink parfait so I've had it some time, you can see that I've, you know, been, I've still got tons left, but uh, it's a very moisturising and sort of glossy lipstick. And uh, I think you can see, very true to the colour in the bullet. But yeah, that is, that's lipstick of the day. Um, what did I get in this demo haul? I'll show you. Right, so I ordered this. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the prices, but we all know that the two new stuff isn't expensive, is it? I think everything I bought, um, I don't think anything was over five pounds at all. I mean, pence for some things. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it fell off the bottom of that. Is this something that you have to put together yourself or? Is it broken? Okay, so it's got a little, a little thingy like that. But I'm guessing, I think it's broken to be honest. So we've got this little wheel here that goes around and then that bit here. So that obviously is so that the product can turn. Oh gosh, oh, am I doing it right? I think it goes that way. Okay, um, I can't take my finger off that because it needs to be re-screwed in um, and I'll get Chris to do that for me. But um, the idea is it turns and so it turns like that and so you put your makeup brushes in there. It definitely is broken. So that's not a great start and that is the very first faulty thing I've ever had. Let me know if you've had any of those makeup brush holders that sort of turn like on a little turntable thing um let me know this was i can't remember the exact price but i think this was i got like um like a one pound voucher but it was 
something like 97p and it's one of those sort of cosmetic bags and actually it's quite nice actually for the price i know you can buy these on lots of different sites and some of them you can get in leather and they look absolutely gorgeous but before i ordered like a really expensive one i thought i'd just see what these are like well, I'll just put it all together and then okay so it's one of those makeup bags so it's got a handle they had it in lots of different colors but I went for this color some that I've seen the more expensive ones have got feet on the bottom especially the leather ones they look beautiful um, and then it opens this sort of quirky way like that and then when you open it Absolutely, tons and tons of room to put all your cosmetics in. So you've got a little pouch here on the wall here, and then on this side you've got two pouches. Got a zip a bit in the middle, and then absolutely tons of room to put your things in. So I thought I might, I probably take this in to hospital with me um, when I have the surgery because it looks quite you know compact and not overly huge but you can get loads in it so and I know that was under it was about 97p obviously there are all different prices on there so you just have to like go through the website because there are so many different prices um, and you get lots of different vouchers etc. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I have seen many people show this which is why I got it. So it's the Beauty Light Glow um, and it's the Touche Liquid Highlighter. Um, it's uh, by Beauty Glazed. Look at the packaging, just look at that packaging. I mean, you know, there is no doubt about what that's meant to be, right? So, let's open it. Okay, so it's got like a little spongy thing at the end. I don't know what the Charlotte Tilbury one has got because I don't have this. So it looks like you have to turn it. Is it? Yeah, like that. And then squeeze. Oh, and then the product comes out. Okay, so there we go. So then obviously you turn it back again. There we go to seal it again. Wow, I'm going to pop. I'm going to use you guys so I might be glowing like the moon in a minute. I uh, can't see properly because obviously I'm using, I'm using the viewfinder to do it. But uh, I would imagine it's probably quite glowy I'll do a little bit there shall we um, so I don't really know what it looks like so please let me know <laughs> but what I've got on my hand I'm just going to pop there That's where the collarbones are once again, I can't remember how much it was, but and, and and to be fair, the prices change all the time. Sometimes, you know, they're really really good cheap prices, and another time they might go up. I think it just, I think they just sort of play around with prices all the time. I'm pretty sure that was under like under four pounds. I'm pretty sure. But I thought I'd try it, and I think I can see a little bit of a glow. Very difficult because, as I say, I'm using the viewfinder. I can't remember what this is. Have I even opened this to check it? I don't think so. Oh, okay, just a little notebook. Okay, so this was one of the mistakes that I made. There we go, just an ordinary little notebook. Um, the mistake I made is I probably didn't read it properly because I think you could order one or you could order a pack of three, a pack of five, something like that. But because the picture had like a pack of five on it, I just assumed that was what I was clicking on and I clearly wasn't so I just got one little notebook but you know it's small enough to go in my handbag and if I need to make any notes. And guys then what I did 
I did it again. And I don't know why, oh, goodness knows what planet I was on when I made this order, because then I got another one. I didn't get, because on the, the, the part that I, the, the supplier I was looking at, that I'm sure they were either one, three or five, and I've ended up with two, so I've done it again. Or maybe did I just order two? Did I just order two? Um, and then for crafting, I ordered these. So these are just like the brown lined paper. This is just the brown lined paper that you can like pop into journals, that sort of thing, or scrapbooking, um, craft, you know, if you're doing cards, anything like that. So that's what I did get that one for. So I've got these little scissors here. So there's a whole pack of different types of scissors and they all do different cuts. So I don't know if you can see on the, on like what would be the blade side, but there's all different kind of squiggly patterns. And so that is the shape and the pattern that you'd be able to cut your paper into. But I ended up buying some at the range the other day. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> I just must have forgotten that I had these on order. They were very, very cheap. I think they were one pound something. Very, very cheap. Um, so I'm just gonna give these to my little grandson, Lennox, to see he does crafting, he loves crafting. So I'm gonna give him those that he do get crafting. Right, I'm just gonna have a slab of coffee, my loves. And again, this is just for crafting. I thought this was absolutely beautiful, very Victorian. Absolutely lovely for whatever you're crafting. If you wanted to do that as a backdrop to a picture, like if you were doing a, um, a picture in a frame and you wanted to put that as a backdrop and then sort of put your picture, sort of say here, so you could see all of this, that would be a nice look. Or if you're using it for your craft journals, um, if you're using it for your junk journals, which is what I will be using it for, or even actually for some cards. I need to get back into my card making, I think. I think. Yeah, I do. I need to get back into my card making, my lovelies. Uh, this is just a two pack of double sided tape. Same thing, crafting. Right, these are for crafting. There's tons of them. These were. Honestly, something like 250 possibly if that. I know they weren't a lot. And there are one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. Um, so there's a lot in here. I'm gonna use them in my little crafting stash just to keep sort of papers in and everything. So for example, like that Victorian uh, paper that I've just shown you. So any Victorian papers I could, any Victorian design papers I could say, for instance, put in here, and then they press that fasten, and then you've got a little, um, a little thingy here where you can just make a little tag and pop it in to so say Victorian papers or whatever. But, I thought they were a jolly, jolly good idea. And if you're not using them for crafting, then of course you can keep like all your personal private papers in them. They beg us that. Again, a little bit of crafting, but this time, this is like Christmas time. So this is for when I want to do something Christmassy. Um, I'll take it out because the sticker's over the part I want to show you. Right, so these are perfect for cards, perfect for journaling because they've got the natural sort of two sides there so that you can easily fold in the middle. So you've got your stag here, you've got like Christmas roses, so you've got a poinsettia and like a little girl all cold and snuggly in her, in her hat and gloves. And then last but not least, you've got that one. Do you know what else? I think these, some of these crafting things would be really, really good for some of these papers. 
I think they would be excellent for doll's houses. So if you wanted to like wallpaper a doll's house, you know, they'd be excellent, wouldn't they? Again, this is another Christmassy one. So there's one that's like that, then you've got another one, you've got like little Christmas trees, a little boy, and so you're gonna get some other lovely little ones. I'll just put out a couple this time. Oh, this is a nice one. You could also make Christmas tags from this one because you've got all your different look. Do you see what I mean? You can make all different tags from that. And that's another really, really nice one. But they are just so beautiful. They just can't be beaten on prices. I know I say, I can't remember how much they are, but um, they are literally like one pound something, you know. And yet another one. So this is like what I would call a vintage, like a vintage floral. So I've had something very, very similar to this. I absolutely loved it. And you get those beautiful, beautiful sort of roses. Um, and then you've got like a little bit of scripture on the back of this one. So you can use them for so, so many things, guys. And I absolutely adore them. <laughs> must have ordered two of these. Okay, then I ordered these. I thought these are excellent for, you know, junk journaling or scrapbooking. And what they actually are, are tiny little, pop them onto the corners of the books to protect the corners. And I know that these were literally pennies, these were. I thought they were really good as well. They kind of make it look a little bit more professional and um, help protect the corners of the books or your journals. Right, okay, so I ordered these. This is actually called balloon glue. It is like a double-sided tape. And I got a pack of four of these. Um, I just thought I'd give them a try because they were like, again, just like pennies. I thought I'd try them to see how strong they are compared to like the other double-sided tape that I have. Right, these I thought were absolutely stunningly beautiful. However, once again, my thought not theirs. Um, I thought I ordered one that was slightly bigger. I obviously didn't really look at the measurements. However, I think they're perfect size because what they are is beautiful, beautiful little notebook. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And then you open it like this and then you've got so you've got your blank pages there. You've got loads of blank pages. This you could actually turn into a junk journal, which is what I thought I might do for certain people for Christmas. Thought I might do that. Purely and simply because it's just so lovely. And then you rewrap it. There you go, and then you can just tie it off like that. And then you've got that lovely little leaf there. And I just think that's a perfect gift for somebody, whether you like junk journal it up or just give it as a lovely gift. Um, for some people that I gift to for Christmas, I'm gonna get some more of these and get some really nice pens. And um, that's gonna be their, their Christmas present this year. Um, and I, who wouldn't like it? I'd have loved something like this. So I actually got two of those, and they do them different colours as well, but I thought that colour was like, it kind of looked really expensive and very traditional. Um, then I got this one, I absolutely love this. I was going to give this to somebody else, but I'm going to have to keep it, I love it so much. Um, so again, it's another journal. It's got like this little embellishment here. I think this was in khaki. I think that's, it kind of looks more sort of creamy beigey but I think the colour's actually khaki and then you just take the band off like that and then open it and then inside you've got three separate books perfect for your junk journaling because you've already got your signatures in here so each each like book is a signature um, and that would be absolutely perfect, but I love it that much, I can't bear to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep this for myself and I will order some more 
to also go as Christmas presents. Um, I will probably, I probably will not junk journal it because let people, I might, I might just do a couple of pages to make it personalised and then leave the rest. But how nice would that be? Absolutely lovely. Especially with a nice pen and a nice bookmark or something. On to more personalised stuff. So you've seen the a cosmetic bag or the wash bag. You've seen the, uh, the broken makeup brush twirly thing. Big fail, Leslie Ann, big fail. I ordered some new brushes to go in there. But what did I do? I didn't check the flipping size. I just saw the ones that came up on the picture. Yep, yeah, click. They just look huge. Let's double check. There's Leanne, double check. Everybody double check your sizes, please. So I ordered two lots. So I thought one's not enough brushes. I was going to change my brushes up. And then I ended up with these tiny, tiny little things. I mean, if I was to put these in that makeup brush holder, they just go, they just fall in. They wouldn't even stick above it, so a big mistake. But I will keep them and I will probably give them this little, little travel makeup brushes. Then I got two of these. I've got one in this colour, one in like a pink. I don't really know what I'm going to use them for. Put them in my handbag. I think they might be ideal for things like, you know, medication, like your tablets, a little, a little first aid kit in your bag, or you wanted to pop your little headphones, you know, your little ear, earbuds in here or something, charger cable, um, anything really. And it's a nice, secure little, so you just squeeze it there, look, squeeze. Brilliant. Then I ordered the same, but in a pink, uh, a light pink, and I just thought, well, even like sticking your lipsticks in or something like that in your bag. So, you know, a couple of lippies maybe pack of tissues or something and just keeps everything organized and together in your handbag earrings i've ordered two pairs of earrings i thought these are really really pretty um, they are just little heart shaped ones um, they kind of have the look of mother of pearl which obviously they're not um, so i don't know if they're some sort of a resin they may be but um, i've got them sort of in the gold tone and then you've got that beautiful, almost mother of pearl look to them. Aren't they gorgeous? And I think they're going to be quite sort of noticeable in the air. Right out my street and another pair of little earrings. So these are more of a, like a hoop type thing without being a hoop as such they almost look as though they've been diamond cut don't they because if i do that you might be able to sort of see them twinkling a little bit but um you've got four that's what i like about them you've got four individual little rings here i don't know if i'm showing it very well because they are quite diddy but you've got your little rings here individual ones so the part of the earring that actually goes into your ear is almost like a little cuff. So that just hangs down and catches the light. And I just think they're absolutely adorable. Really like them. You know, I know obviously things like costume jewelry doesn't last forever, but sometimes, you know, you just want something different and your birds pay pennies for it and get a few uses out of it. You know, it's, it's absolutely totally worth it, isn't it? Not all costume jewellery tarnishes either. I've got some costume jewellery that's lasted for ages and, you know, I've still got it and I still wear it and it's still brilliant. I know some people have put like a clear nail varnish on the back of their jewellery or their, you know, their rings, back of the earrings, that sort of thing. And that kind of apparently does help it um, to not tarnish or to turn your, your ears green. <laughs> I ordered this dear little bracelet. Just thought it was super cute. It was under a pound. <laughs> like a lot of it, under a pound. Surprisingly, that feels 
sturdy. I thought when it arrived it would be like one of those really bendy ones. Uh, I got one of these for Chris for, yeah, his birthday this year. He absolutely loves it. And what I like about this one, it's got all the little facets there. It's really nice, isn't it? Let's pop it on. So to pop it on, you literally just pop it onto your wrist like that. You can close it up a bit if you want to. I would say if you've got a wrist any bigger than mine, possibly it wouldn't work. I've got quite tiny wrists, in all honesty. Um, but give it a go for that price give it a go because i'm sure there's somebody you might be able to gift that to if it doesn't fit you um but doesn't that look nice love it last but not least then i love a couple of makeup bits okay i just i think the packaging on this is so pretty um so that's what it looks like really lovely that lovely sort of peacock green um, very attractive packaging and what it is it's an eyebrow pencil um, I haven't actually used one of these before let me stand up and pop it onto my hand so basically when you put your brows do your brows it does all these tiny little hairs look you've probably seen them you've maybe even used them I have it's waterproof as well but I haven't used it before but now I've shown you I will be able to use it so really looking forward to trying that. You know, it was so, honestly, as cheap as chips it really was. Um, and so yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. And this one, I've had one of these in the past, but I can't find it. I have a feeling it might just dry down, so I got rid of it. Um, but it, it is an eyeliner, double-ended eyeliner. So you've got your, let me stand up again. You've got your eyeliner here, okay, which goes on an absolute dream like that. And then on the other end, you've got this so that you can do your winged liner. Because I've got hooded eyes now, I am old. That's just a little stamp, look. And you can just stamp on your wings. And I just thought, it was, I mean, I had one before and it was amazing. And I literally just went plonk, plonk and looked like I'd spent ages doing my eyes and I I clearly hadn't. Um, but that's it, my lovelies. That's everything I did get from Timu. Um, as I say, I did buy all this myself. I have in the past worked with Timu. Um, but this I did order all, you know, and pay for out of my own money. So just go down to where it says more. So you click more and then it goes down a bit. Click more again. And then I've got a link. It is an affiliate link that will take you through to Timu. Um, it doesn't cost you any more money if you click on my link, but it does pay me pennies, literally pennies, but what do pennies make? They all add up, right? So if you don't want to go onto the affiliate link, then just just um, go straight onto the Timu website. Um, but yeah, that is everything. So if you have enjoyed this Timu haul, the bits and pieces that I've got, so I guess really it's a, a mixture of crafting and sort of beauty jewellery isn't it but if you have enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up um you know a like because it certainly helps our channels out on youtube and of course if you haven't already subscribed i'd be absolutely delighted if you would subscribe to my channel don't forget to press the notification bell i often forget to say that but if you press that notification bell the next time i do a video you will be notified straight away so, until the next one, my lovelies, the sky's got a little bit darker. Does that mean we're having a storm? Let's hope, shall we? Shall we go and do a rain dance? <laughs> oh, no, we're flipping the star with a rain dance, but right, I'm waffling. Crystal and her sister and her brothers are on their holly bobs, aren't you? Do you know holly bobs? Yes. And Crystal is an imperial. <laughs> An, an, a miniature imperial shih tzu oh dear when she was a pup we had her and her sister and um they were like little guinea pigs running around running under the sofa she's so funny but she's got to have a bath today haven't you crystal you're gonna have a bath are you gonna have a bath today no <laughs> are you gonna have a bath today 
Crystal, are you having a bath today? <laughs> She's so tiny and look, look a little gremlin, look a little fizzle. Look at little hair blown in the look. Is she the cutest you've ever seen? Is she the cutest? Yeah. You're so hot. Go on over there. Right guys, see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye for now. Bye.